Mother I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. I'm driving around in my mom's ride. I'm awesome. A quarter of my life gone by, and I met all my friends online. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. I will run away from a brawl. I'm awesome. There's no voicemail, nobody call. How you doing, manginas? Angry Toddler here, bringing to you guys Drop Zone on Fallen. And this is going to be the first episode of many of my girlfriend stories where I go through and tell you guys all the shit and dirt about all the girls I've ever dated and had a thing with. But before I start, this gameplay is awesome. But it's also not mine. It's actually Chauvin's. And his link is in the description. He has some awesome fucking gameplay. I'm telling you guys, dude gets Moabs with shotguns. He got a double Moab with two shotguns. And then he got like LMG like Moabs. And the, he, this is a sniper Moab. And it is just absolutely ridiculous. And also, this video is being played on his channel. So, you people that subscribe to Chopin, um, check me out if you want to. I do like funny commentaries. I do Minecraft, Call of Duty. I'm not quite as good a game player as this dude. Because this guy is absolutely... I mean, none of you guys are probably either, right? This dude's gameplay is fucking off the wall. And it's, it's incredible. So, um, let me tell you guys a little bit about me. For you people that don't know me, that are watching it on Chopin's. I'm 21, I go to college, and I make videos. That's really all you need to know, and I'm sexy as fucking hell. And I like to call my subscribers Manginas, because I am the Mangina King. I like to make myself feel better by pretending like you guys don't have wieners either, because I don't. I might, I, I don't know, I haven't, I'm, I don't know, I haven't looked down there for a while. I don't want to look down there, to be honest. So let's get it started with the girlfriend stories. And, uh, let's start out with my third grade girlfriend. Um... I'm not dating her now. She's not in third grade now. She was when I was in third grade. She was in third grade. So I'm not a pedophile um, in this instance. Um, basically, long story short, this girl, dude, I had a huge crush on her in third grade. And I don't really count this as my first girlfriend because, I mean, I'm in third grade. And here's how it kind of started. Uh, we took these little papers. We ripped up a little corner of it and wrote, hey, do you think I'm cute? Yes, no, or maybe. Circle which one. And so we handed it to a friend. And then they handed it to the girl, and uh, then she replied back, handed it to her friend, and then handed it to me, and she said yes. And so then I guess we just started dating at that point. Uh, we never talked to each other, but in third grade, it was pretty legit. Um, and then she uh, asked me if I was older, would I marry her? And I'm like, uh, yeah, mate, I think. And the problem was I, I, I was I was just too romantic at the time. I'm just like, yeah, I'll marry you. But really when I thought about it, um, I don't think I would have. Um, she seemed like the type that would try to steal all my money. Because there's some times where she tried to steal food from me at lunch. And I'm like, yo, what you think you're doing? You never try to steal food from a fat kid. Like, you should know this. This is easy shit. You, you learn that from the first day you go to school. If you steal food from a fat kid, you're about to get your ass stomped. Especially if it's good food. If it's a cookie, you're screwed. Don't ever fucking ask if you want my cookie. I, I won't give it to you. Okay, that's the answer for that. So that's my first uh, a girlfriend with an asterisk. And now, girlfriend asterisk number two, because I was in sixth grade. And uh, this one was a little bit more legit. We held hands once, or I think twice. I think we held hands twice. And uh, this girl, I met her in band because I used to play bass guitar. Guitar. And um, so, yeah, so and she was a drummer. So she <laughs> beat my meat, if you know what I mean. Drumming on it. Okay. She was really good with her hands. <laughs> see, see what I did there? And so, how this relationship started is uh, she, well, first of all, we we're in French slash Spanish class because I guess this school wasn't very good and they couldn't, they couldn't um, not combine both because I don't know why. But it was such a joke. I don't remember learning how to speak any of the languages while I was taking the class. But we just started flicking paper footballs out of Starburst wrappers at each other for about a week, a good week. And then, all drama broke loose. We had a school dance coming up, and uh, it was Valentine's Day. And uh, I remember this too. It was crazy. Like people got flowers from like parents or something, or like one of their best friends. Like girls gave girls flowers. Like at this point, in sixth grade, yeah, there's some people that were actually dating, and they gave actual gifts. So, anyways, I get this cutout heart, and uh, it says, "I think first of all, um, you are cute." She spelled you with just the letter. So it wasn't Y-O-U, it was just U, and then R was just the letter, R, and then cute was on this little heart, and this thing looked like a third grader wrote it, uh, she didn't have the best handwriting, 
And um, I'm like, and it had no name on it, but it said to me, it said, Dear Ryan, you are cute. It was on the back, it said, Dear Ryan. And so my teacher gave it to me, and she was like laughing about it. And I'm like, who the fuck gave me this? And so then that's when me and my friends, our goal was to go around and figure out who it was. Because the dance was in a week, and I'm like, um, what am I supposed to do? If I don't know who the fuck thinks I'm cute, how am I supposed to go to the dance with them? And so that was just really confusing. So I was going around, all my friends were asking every girl. I, I would start asking every girl that I thought was cute and hoping, crossing my fingers, that it was them. Uh, they would all say no, which kind of sucked. So I was like, fuck. So finally, at the dance, I figured it out because one of the, her friends came up and told me. And like this girl, her name was Madison. And I had actually not even talked to her. Besides the flicking the paper footballs, we really never talked, so I just had no idea it was her. And so, um, so then I tried to impress her by trying to do the worm on a few aluminum chairs. And it really did not work very well at all. It actually was a, it was very painful. But it got me a few laughs. I don't remember if she laughed. She was probably laughing at me. So, um, but it must have worked because later on we started dating a couple weeks after that. Because, you know, who wants to rush into things, right? At least we didn't say we'd get married when we were older. So we actually dated for about uh, a good four months. Or maybe it was a month. It felt like a long time. It probably wasn't four months. But then, some drama. First of all, drama started because I broke up with her for a day. And then this girl came up to me and she said her name was Darcy. I, that was such a nerdy name to me. Sorry if any of you guys know if somebody's named Darcy. If you do, laugh at him for me. Be like, huh. Woody from the Wizard of Oz. I think her name was Darcy. Or Dor- I think her name was Dorsey. Whatever. Laugh at him anyways, okay? For me. Say I sent you. And so, um... Okay, uh, now I'm just trying to think of that girl's name was from the Wizard of Oz. I can't think of it. Dorothy. It was a Dorothy? So it wasn't Dorsey, it was Dorothy. Whatever, okay? Just laugh at people named Dorothy, Darcy, or Dorsey, okay? Or Dorky. I don't care. It's all up to you. So anyways, back to the story. I broke up with her for a day, and then this girl came up to me and uh, told me she thought I was cute. But by that time, I had already gotten back with Madison. And so I'm like, yeah, awkward. And I told Madison, and then uh, it was like gangs. Because like, she had her little group of girlfriends, and then Madison had her group of girlfriends who were, who were actually pretty scary. They could beat me up, I think. And so, um, yeah, so then... They didn't fight or anything, but uh, they gave some evil looks at each other during class. Cause it was, it was a small-ish school. We all kind of knew each other, and so um, finally, at the end, there's this girl. Her name was Alex, and uh, she started to flirt with me. And dude, there was some sexual tension in this room I was in. Uh, I had just bought a sprite sprite bottle, just like pop. I bought pop from the pop machine, and I was in this room with just her, and she really wanted my pop. I'm a addicted to pop and I did not want to give her any of it and so then she pinned me up to the fucking wall and by the way she locked the door before this locked the door she could have raped me I about was raped in sixth grade and so she couldn't pin me up against the wall stole the pop drank it she said thank you and gave it back and unpinned me in the wall and walked out and I was so stunned I'm like what the fuck just happened there? I mean, in sixth grade, never even kissed anybody, and that was just weird, man. That was, I told, I'm telling you, that was sexual tension. That was something was up, and it turned out she did like me, I think, because um, I remember, it was, yeah, because my friend told me that she said that she was liking me just to get me to break up with Madison because she hated her, but then she would tell me something different. So who the fuck knows what actually happened with that? But she was cute for sixth grade. So anyways, I broke up with Madison. Um, and since she was in band with me, we had a band trip to the amusement park in Iowa. And so I wasn't supposed to go to the amusement park to the last day. I ended up going to the amusement park. And by the way, uh, all of her friends were sending me these nasty emails, like just cussing this shit ton at me. And I'm in sixth grade. I never cussed back then. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> like they might murder me. So anyways, I get to the amusement park. They didn't think I was going to be there. They thought I broke up with Madison. So I wouldn't have to hang out with her at the amusement park. So what they did, instead of ignoring me, uh, they like they like to follow me and kick me in the shins. And so, um, so before we even get in the park, I'm getting kicked in the shins. I'm in pain. Like this, she had a whole mob of like six girlfriends with her, and I'm like, fuck, man, I have to deal with this shit all day. So then, me and my friend, we pulled a smooth move. Yes, yeah, yeah, smooth move. 
and went in the line and backed out and they're like Ryan no I'm like you guys are fucking annoying you just started kicking me out fuck yeah I'm leaving so that was basically the end of that I actually did end up kissing her um, when I was a junior in high no senior in high school so about five years ago I actually kissed my sixth grade girlfriend she like I said was not in sixth grade not a pedophile okay so um yeah I'm sorry if the story's dragged on I have a lot more and just to keep you guys guessing, I uh, dated three girls at one time. So that story is coming up in the future. I did that in high school. So there's a few more girlfriends to get to before then. So that's just to keep your whistle wet, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, please check out Chovin if you're from my channel. If you're from Chovin's channel, please come check out my channel. See if you guys like it. Hopefully you guys do. And, um... Yeah, hopefully this gameplay, you guys loved it, because it was awesome. No way could I do this with a sniper, and no way could I get a MOAB with a sniper. I can hardly get a MOAB with an ACR, man. I, I just suck at this game. I can't stand it. I'm all about the Black Ops, really, and Black Cocks. That might be why I like it so much in the butt. So, stay hairy, manginas.